Hello, you beautiful, magical soul. If you have ever wondered what is your purpose in life or have ever felt like it's hard to find your purpose or overwhelming, or if you maybe have an idea of what your purpose is, but it's a big grand vision and you feel a little overwhelmed of where to even start to live that purpose, then stay tuned because this video is for you. My name is Sarah Chapman. This is the Soul Abundance IQ channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are watching this video, then you are probably someone who knows that you have a soul purpose and you either don't know what it is yet or you know it's a big grand plan and you have no idea where to start. So a lot of times I feel like in the spiritual community, we really are told that we have this big grand purpose or we might feel like we're meant to find a big purpose, even if it's just a kind of a subconscious belief or a societal belief that we're meant to find our one true purpose in life and go out and live that. And what are we destined for? But what if it's not that exactly? That yes, you are definitely here to live your soul purpose and to create something beautiful and magical in your life. But what if it is more about the day to day? And while that's all building towards something, absolutely, we also are here to focus on the journey. So what if your purpose is a little bit more about how you are feeling every day in your life and really about finding what your heart desires and tuning in to yourself moment by moment, day by day, step by step in order to find your way to whatever your purpose or your big grand vision is. And so often we have lots of purpose, lots of things that we're here to do. And it's only by focusing on the small steps that we reach that big grand plan on the journey. And there's going to be another one after that, and another one after that, and another one after that. Because again, if you're watching this, you are probably a seeker. And you're not going to be satisfied with being stagnant ever. And that's always going to lead you forward to more. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more? So we're going to talk about two things here. We are going to talk about how to really get still and tune in. And we're also going to talk about how you might be built at soul level in order to find how you're meant to f to create and how you're meant to live your purpose and find your purpose. So I, of course, am a big believer in getting very still and tuning in and just starting to find that vibration, that frequency of energy that you are. And what does that resonate to? And for a lot of people, you're going to have a word that you're going to label this so that your human mind can wrap around this and you kind of have a measuring stick in order to see are you living this are you not living this and it may come to you as more of a feeling or an image whatever your intuition um, brings to you but it really is helpful to kind of quantify it into a word so just by tuning in what are the top three words that come to your mind when you think about what kind of life you want to live? Is it joyful? Is it vibrant? Is it delightful? Is it fulfilled? Is it peaceful? Is it harmonious? What are those top three things that fit for you? And that is a great starting place to write down, post it on your mirror, on your dashboard, by your bedside, wherever can be helpful for you to remember those three 
words that resonate to the vibration that you want to be living. Because when you start to tune into that, how can you create more of those words that you picked so that you can start to become a vibrational match to living that every single day? You just gotta keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. <laughs> now, the other part of this is really starting to tune into who are you at soul level? How are you built in order to live your greatest frequency? Bring in what I call your vital force energy. So that's going to be the energy that creates your authentic self, your success, you know, the biggest bulk of who you're here to be. So, who are you, Panda? So, there are, of course, lots of parts and pieces to this, and a couple of key pieces that I want to talk about here that I see over and over and over with the people that I get to work with are what I call your organizational principle. So, this is a continuum of are you a free spirit creator or are you someone who likes a lot of moving parts, a multitasker, or are you someone who is more linear in your thinking and likes to know A, B, C, D and have the plan all planned out before you implement it? And by knowing that about yourself, you, you probably already have you know, an idea of how you already operate at this level. Now, it may or may not be how you're built at soul level. It could be how you've been taught to operate because your parents were this way or your teachers or a mentor who said, oh, do it this way because that's the best way. But I think it's really great to kind of tune into, do you need to have it all planned out or do you need step one and to just get going? Now, we're all very different. And at the same time, a lot of us in the spiritual community or in the creative, entrepreneurial type of community can be very free-spirited. And you might feel boxed in if you have the entire plan planned out. And you want to be sure that you are working with this energy in a way where you're not scattered and you are actually a accomplishing something instead of just being so free-spirited that you're not harnessing your energy to move forward. Or if you're a multitasker, kind of in the middle of this continuum, you might need more direction in how to work with all those parts and pieces because if you strip it all away, you'll get bored trying to do one thing only. And if you are someone who likes everything all planned out, how do you work with that in order to make tweaks as you're moving forward so that you don't get so stuck in a rigid plan that's not actually working for you, but you said you were gonna do it, so you just do all the steps. And again, this is a continuum of, you know, we're, we're not always just one thing. So how do we work with that energy? So I really recommend watching this video about the eight main energies of the soul and how those work to move you forward because we have all eight. And so it's a great first step to really see how the soul energies come together. Thank you so much for joining me here. I really appreciate you. All the best.